بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الحبت في الله continuing on in our study of encouraging harmony and wisdom in da'wah and warning from discord as i failed to mention that that's the title of the short treatise which was translated by some of our brothers may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve them and the title of the treaty is encouraging harmony and wisdom in dawa and warning from discord and that shows you in the title of the sheikh's treaties the direction we need to go in that we need wisdom in calling to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we need to warn against falsehood that that's a part of the minhaj al haq is that you refute falsehood the truth refutes falsehood the Shaykh then said, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he said, and it is, and what is wajib upon us is to follow the book of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we are, that we, that we hold fast to it, that we cling to it, that we bite onto it with our molar teeth. As the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when he gave a great admonition to the Sahaba that caused eyes to shed tears and filled the hearts with fear so that they asked him Alayhi Salatu Wasallam for advice. They said, O oh Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is as if you are leaving us. It is as if this farewell sermon is to advise us, so advise us. As It is if that this is a farewell sermon, so advise us. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I advise you with taqwa. Usikum bi taqwa Allah. Pay close, play, pay close attention to this point. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I advise you to have taqwa, to be obedient to the rulers, to listen to them and obey them. And whoever amongst you lives long will see a lot of fighting. Ikhtilaf and kathira. We'll see a lot of differing. Sorry. So it is upon you to follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat. And cling on to it with your molar teeth. And beware of any newly invented matters. For every newly invented matter is a bid'ah. And every bid'ah is misguidance. Look at the hikmah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Look at how he laid down the minhaj al haq for us. He said, fear and obey. Usikum bi taqwa Allah wa sami'i wa ta'a. Wa in abdin habashiyan. فَإِنَّكُمْ مَنْ يَعِيشْ مِنْكُمْ بَعْدِي فَسَيَرَى اخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا The Prophet wasallam said, whoever lives after him will see many differences. Look how, much, how many differences we see. We have the Naqshbandis, we have the Diobandis, we have the Brailawi, we have uh, all kind of different Turk. The Ahbas, Jamaat al-Ahbash. We have the Shia and their various sects. We have so many creeds, so many manahij. The Jahmiya, the Mu'tazila, the Ashaira, the Qadriya. All these various creeds that came after the message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Khawarij, the neo Takfiris. Look at now, we have groups, extremist, wicked shaitans, like those groups in Al-Shabaab. Those guys, they shoot buses uh, of women and children and old people. Claiming that they're doing this for for Allah in Islam. And then we have groups like ISIS or IS claiming to, to to help Islam, but all they do is give a horrible image of Islam, cut off the heads of other Muslims, kill and slaughter people. What kind of evil is this? Ya Ikhwani Fillah. This is that ikhtilaf in kathira that we would see. Because you actually have people who support that and say that it's Islam. And you have men, much of the ummah who detest that, who say this is not from Islam. The Prophet ﷺ said, فَسَيَّرَا اِخْتِلَافٍ كَثِيرًا You will see many differences. How do we deal with these differences? How do we know the truth? They're saying this, this group is saying that, that group is saying this. How do we know what the truth is? We know what the truth. The Prophet ﷺ said, so it is upon you to follow my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khulafa, meaning Abu Bakr, Wa Umar, Wa Uthman, 
wa Ali radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in. That's the correct path. That's how we can have success. But if we follow this imam, we follow this group, we follow that sect, we follow those youth, what are we going to have? You will have nothing left of the minhaj al-haq. You only have deviation. The Shaykh then said, he said, this admonition, this sermon consists of the advice to have taqwa of Allah. The taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is ne a necessity in this religion. A necessity that one cannot do without. And it is not truly represented except within the truthful, pious scholars. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabihi al-kareem, innama yakhsha Allah min ibadihi ulama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, only those who fear Allah from amongst his servants who have knowledge. Who really fears Allah the most? It's the ulama. Because they practice what they learned. They have the most knowledge. They know the hikmah. They know the wisdom. They've dealt with issues. They know how to deal with the fiqh waqia. They know what, they know these things. Not because they have revelation. Not that they should be blind followed. But Allah has favored them with taqwa. That's the thamarat al-ilm. Al-amal, thamarat al-ilm. That practice of your Islam is the benefit or the fruit of gaining knowledge. The Shaykh said, so gain knowledge in order that you may reach this level. Because he who knows the correct aqidah, the correct minhaj, the correct rulings in Islam, the correct manners that are derived from the book of Allah, and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he is the one who will have fear of Allah. Because these are the things that drive one to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is constantly watching you and observing you at every time and place. And this is a great status to achieve. May Allah help us and bless us to be that, be of those who fear Him, because we do so many sins in the night and the day. The status of Ihsan, to worship Allah as though you see Him, and if you are not able to do this, then indeed He sees you. The Prophet wasallam said in the Hadith of Jibreel, uh, He said, Al Ihsan. Allah sees you. You can't see him, but he sees you. He knows what you're doing. He knows what you're doing on your phones. He knows what you're doing in the depths of the night. He knows what you're watching. He knows who you're watching. He knows all of those things. May Allah protect us. He knows what you're smoking. He knows what you're drinking. He knows what you're intaking into your body. And if you're spoiling your iman or if you're raising it, Allah knows. May Allah help us and guide us. I mean. Then the Shaykh said, this is the status of Ihsan. That one has a strong feeling that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is constantly watching him. And that he hears everything that he's saying. And that he hears his heartbeat and even what he says to his own self. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala knows all of this and hears it. And he sees you at all times. Why are you moving and when you are still. So whoever realizes the true mightiness of Allah. Knows that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala hears everything that he says. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. Fi kitabihi al-kareem. Wa inna alaykum lahafideen. Kiram in katibin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. And indeed, over you are keepers, noble and recording. They know whatever you do. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and forgive us of our many sins. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan.